So we are just about to head off to the hospital because I am being induced this morning. Yeah, so good morning world. <laughs> <laughs> or I should say they're gonna start the induction process today. My doctor said it could easily take two, maybe even three days. I'm currently 41 weeks and one day pregnant and my induction was actually supposed to be yesterday, but the hospital was really busy so they decided to push it to this morning. So it is currently 7 a.m. on the dot and we are heading off to the hospital, so. I love you. I love you. Should we do one last bump shot? Oh, in the nursery? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, Steven and vlog, this is as pregnant as you are gonna see me. That is so crazy. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll have a baby out here. Oh, yay. <laughs> no more progress shots. We are, we are getting this girl out one way or another. <laughs> Pregnancy comes to an end. <sighs> wow. Ugh. Oh, uh, I'm sure there's more to be thought about that. Yeah, we should. It's time to go. Let's go. <laughs> I love you though. I love you so much. You know what? It's been a long two weeks of patrolmal labor. I just realized I was about to take a picture. I am wearing this jumpsuit backwards. This is supposed to be in the front. This is the front and this is the pocket. <laughs> Sounds like we'll have to redo that. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I'm really ready for this. I I feel at peace with it. I feel like, you know, I, I was hoping to avoid an induction, but but at this point, like honestly, I just want her here safely. Yep. And my OB said the best option for that is induction. So that is what we are doing. And I I feel at peace about it. And I am also very relieved to be done with this padromal labor. <laughs> okay. You've been a fighter. I have seen this crazy journey for nine months. And yeah, let's go bring it to an end and uh, welcome a little baby into the world. Let's do it. Ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm admitted. <laughs> so I've got the IV plug, is that what they call it in? But not like an actual IV yet. They took my blood, they did a COVID test. I have the little monitoring bands on right now, monitoring contractions and baby's heart rate, which I really have not had strong contractions today. They're showing up on the monitor like every four to six minutes, but they're really not that strong right now. And they actually started me on the first step of my induction, which is an oral pill called Cytotec. So that is supposed to thin out my cervix. They do six doses every four hours, I think, uh, to see if my cervix responds to that. So right now it is just before 10 a.m. We're on dose one and uh, I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm excited. so an important day to kind of rest when you can and you know get some strength for the next, whatever comes next. And I think my mom is Your mom there. should be walking at any second. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Look who just got I'm here. Excited. I'm ready. Well, it's probably going to be a little while. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I've spent many long hours in hospital, but nothing phases me. <laughs> so this is the squad. This is the labor team. Ooh, plus our awesome nurse that we already met. But we are getting settled in. Steven just took some photos of me. Uh, thinking about posting one on Instagram to announce that I'm in labor, but or getting induced. Uh, only when someone's in the room, they said. Other than that, you're good, and I don't have to wear one because my COVID test was negative, so. All right, it is 2.15. Sierra's here, actually. Yeah, PM. <laughs> only been a couple hours. Um, Sarah's actually starting to get more contractions now. This is kind of matching the padromal stuff, but we have no idea what's actually going on, so. It's kind of an hour by hour, see how things progress here. She took the second dose of Cytotech. Cytotech. <laughs> and we are just kind of watching the monitor and one of Sierra's coping strategies is just knowing what's coming. So we're kind of letting her know if we see something on the monitor before it happens. And she said she wants a narrator kind of thing. <laughs> I like when they narrate the contraction as it shows up on the screen because it validates my pain. So Sierra took a Tylenol because you know, I don't think she's ready for anything too much yet, but just enough to take the edge off on some of the bigger ones. So she's doing good. We're uh, hanging out and yeah, we'll see where the day progresses. We're watching some Survivor now. <laughs> <laughs> Got my laptop set up on my uh, suitcase. Mom's over here in between contractions. Figured I'd give you guys a little uh, little taste of what my view looks like. <laughs> what time is it even? <laughs> I was about to say, okay, it is, and I realized... I don't know what time it is. Okay, so it is now 6.45. I wanted to give you guys a little update since I'm feeling pretty good right now. Steven actually just ran off to get dinner, so my mom's hanging out on the couch here. But um, right before I was ready for my third round of Cytotec, the midwife who's on call right now at the hospital was like, I don't know if you're gonna need the third dose. Your contractions have been pretty like regular and intense and close together. So I bet you're dilated. And I was like, mm, 
I, I I hope I'm dilated, but I, I I would be surprised because still to me these contractions felt pretty mild from what I had been experiencing a lot at home. Um, but I was optimistic, and they checked, and I'm still like not really dilated. They said like a fingertip, but they did say that my cervix is softening, which is what the cytotech is really supposed to do. So good sign. But they were thinking that they I might not need like the the next dose of cytotech, the third dose, and that instead they would move on to doing the fully balloon, which is kind of like the next step that they wanted to do after the cytotech. But um, I'm not dilated enough for the fully balloon, so they did do the third round of cytotech. So I wouldn't be surprised if I end up doing all six doses, which would mean that we'd probably start like the fully balloon and the pitocin at the 24 hour mark, which would be I think 10 a.m. tomorrow, because that's what time I actually officially took the first dose of cytotech. But yeah, I feel like I my spirits are high still. <laughs> I am happy to be here. I'm happy to be moving along in the process and time's going by pretty fast, wouldn't you say? Yeah. We put my hair back up. <laughs> I feel so limited in my movement because my IV hand, so thank you, mommy. Mm, you're all sweaty. I am all sweaty. <laughs> need to put my little fan back on. Definitely need your hair up. This little fan that I packed has already probably been like my top hospital bag item. It's been so great. And I turned it off because I was vlogging, but you're right, I am sweaty, so I'm gonna turn it back on. You're really good at doing buns. Okay. I know. I was a little worried about having Steven do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have been worried. <laughs> you know, I bunned your hair for many years. Yeah, what's, uh, what's a couple more at 25? <laughs> Here comes Sierra doing her big walks. And she rounds the corner again. <laughs> because of COVID, Sierra cannot walk the ward. So yeah, that... you're not allowed to walk the hallways. You have to stay in your room. So I wanted to get up and move around. So yeah, so it sounds like the next dosage will be around 10. It's about three, about three hours or so. And then you should really try to sleep. I'm worried about being able to sleep. I already, I mean, it's been a while that I haven't been sleeping well at home and then here. Yes. It's a whole other beast. I guess the hospital bed is uh, not as comfy as it looks. And I think my mom's gonna go home for the night since I'm, I'm not gonna be giving birth tonight. Yeah. Um, so she'll sleep at home. Steven can sleep on the little pullout couch here. Yes. Yeah, I went out and had dinner. I had. Sierra's mom's out having dinner right now. That's why she's not here. I had the liquid diet for dinner, which was just the vegetable broth and like a little uh, jello ice thing. But because they don't think I'm gonna give birth tonight, they are gonna let me eat dinner yeah. before my next round of cytotech. So they said like 9.30, I can eat like a meal meal. Yeah, so, so it'll be so, nice. So the ones here have like light meals and everything's been going well. So I'm gonna put the camera down, get back to take care of the wife and uh, yeah. She rounds the corner again. How are you doing, Sierra? Uh, contraction. Contraction, traction. Uh, What's your fix? Winter job. Oh, okay, I think this one's coming down. Nice. <clears throat> They're definitely getting more intense. It's 10 o'clock. Lori, Lori watching numbers. Sierra feeling contractions. And Steve just kind of kicked back and relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, girl. Wait, I think the vlog missed me doing the high school musical dance. Yeah, so maybe, oh, you, could, maybe you could slip in. Uh, Go ahead, jump, uh, jump out of bed. Yeah, that's not going to happen <laughs> now. Oh, that was very two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, things have gotten a little more serious. Tell me how you feel about being in the hospital. We're all in this together, and it shows who we are. We're all stars, and we see that we're all. How are you doing, Sierra? I just got drugs. Yes, yeah, so where'd what, you get? St get? State all. State all. It's so weird because so it literally just hit me like. 60 seconds ago they did it like two minutes ago it's weird because i can feel still like right now that i'm pretty sure contraction starting it is but i don't feel pain i just feel the you know, like maybe the mm -hmm. like, tightness yeah, and pressure I feel a little bit of pressure but oh my gosh it's such a relief that was like two hours of <laughs> yeah. yeah pretty it was only getting worse contractions so we, we haven't been checked in a while but i bet hopefully next time you get checked see There's some progress but that could be tomorrow morning so yeah which is I, good I think I'm gonna try to go to bed. <coughs> yeah, you should try to go to bed. So say bye to mom and you can yeah, see her tomorrow. Bye, mom. Nice bright and early. Bye, Thanks for helping me wash my face and do my hair. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that bun, it's so professional looking. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. 
All right, it is now the next day. Um, not a great night of sleep, but things have been kind of stable. Sierra's contractions are picking up. Um, Sierra asked me to pick up the camera right now, so about 20 oh. minutes ago, she got the folly balloon, and it is very painful, and contractions are picking up pretty intensely. Wait, and you forgot the good news. What's the good news? I'm dilated. She's dilated to a one. And <laughs> you want to wave to the camera, Sierra? All right. Okay. Hey, Sierra, how's it going? I got the epidural. The pain is gone, which is wonderful. Seems like I'm progressing pretty well, which is great. So hopefully baby will be here tonight. And I'm very tired, a little yeah. nauseous. Very happy with my decision to get the epidural. Yeah, that was a very happy, very intense. All right, it is only a couple hours later, but Sierra has woken up and is, I feel uh, great. is in full blown epider epidermal mode. Epidural. <laughs> epidural. Gosh, I, I haven't slept. <laughs> Oh and man, also, this morning was just nuts though. Yeah, I got a little uh, got stressful. Hectic. It started out so easy and I just... <laughs> <laughs> well, and then even the last clip you filmed, I had gotten the epidural, but I was so out of it. Yeah. Now I feel really, really great. They have this giant peanut shaped exercise ball between my legs here. And I have the fully, fully, fully balloon in and the catheter and I'm chilling. Yeah, get it girl. Okay, you guys, it is three in the morning and we got the best news yet. My Foley balloon is out and I am dilated to a five. And one of the second best news? What? We are both coming off of like five hours of sleep right now. Oh yeah, we slept great this afternoon. We watched a movie, we watched <laughs> National Treasure, watched a little bit more Survivor and then slept quite a bit tonight. So I feel really well rested and- That was my longest bit of sleep and I feel really good and, good and i think we're gonna go into this next part just incredibly well rested which is really good for being in the hospital for now what, going on to two to three two days. days yeah the drum labor for two weeks so i think given the circumstances i think they're going well <laughs> i was so excited when the nurse was like yep the bulb is out and you're a five i was so sleepy when she came in to check and then i all of a sudden when she told me got like the biggest burst of energy because yeah. i don't know in my brain i still hadn't i mean i i was dilated to a one earlier yeah. and then my whole like end of my pregnancy being checked i was never more than a fingertip yeah. and so then now being told i'm a five i'm like i'm getting convinced that i'm actually gonna be able to push this baby out yeah. no i know how, i know that was very important for you yeah even just mentally to kind of <laughs> comprehend that there's been something Progress. productive is happening yeah so yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, what level is the Pitocin at now? Does, is it 12? You're at 13 right now. 13. We are moving and grooving. <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Hello. It is 11 a.m. They have broken my water, which is very exciting. Still going on the Pitocin train. They did a little bit of a pause there and we're trekking along. We're chilling. I am drinking some uh, vegetable broth and I'm officially on clear liquids only for the remainder of up until I give birth. My mom's here too. She came back this morning, so she's out for a walk right now. Well, I think she's actually sleeping in the car, but... Oh, is she sleeping in the car? <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, we're trying to catch... She can sleep in here. I know, but it's it's harder to sleep in here when things are happening, so... All right. Love you, girl. Love you. I'm so proud of you. Oh. That was one of the craziest, scariest moments of my whole life. Yeah, that was nuts. That was <laughs> nuts. We are now in the calm after the storm. Do you want to tell them what happened? Yeah, so it's about now four o'clock. Baby had a second decel or- Deceleration. So, deceleration, yeah. yeah. So it was kind of heart rate just slows down and that was the second one, but it was a little more quick reaction. So it was like just instantly nurses everywhere. And then they all of a sudden start talking about C-section. I thought I was going to get wheeled off to have a C-section like right now. And Yeah, I was... mean, there was at least 20 seconds where I was like, are we wheeling the cart? Like, what yeah, are we doing here? That's what I thought was going to um, happen. It was stressful. Yeah, but good news baby is we now have an internal monitor on baby and she's great her heart rate is totally fine and they are not thinking that we're gonna jump like right into a c-section no. although that is becoming more of a possibility depending on how my cervix and baby continue to respond to the pitocin and yeah. the contractions very scary though that was, just, was a lot that whole moment was just terrifying yeah Alrighty, here we go. Mm -hmm. I'll be there and I'll stick right behind you. And you go in and I'll follow you in there. Yeah. Skin is suiting up.
read it. Read that off again. You're doing so good. Oh. Good job. Oh my God, there's our daughter. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. There you go. Good for you. Good job. Is that my granddaughter? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, are you so happy? Craziest thing. So proud of you. Be outside of a contracting universe after so long. You did it, Sierra. I am forever proud of you. And beautiful, beautiful little Grace. update because I think it's been an incredible minute since we've done this. It is now late Friday night. It's like, uh, I think it's just past midnight. Yeah, so it's actually Saturday morning. Yeah, so it's actually 1 a.m. on Saturday morning. It's just been an incredible week. Um, Sierra has done a really good job through the recovery process. Um, she's back here. We're actually up feeding baby. Um, well, right now baby's asleep. Right now we're feeding mom. I'm eating a granola bar. <laughs> yeah, baby was dead asleep. So we're going to give her another like 30, 45 minutes of sleep in. Um, I'm over here kind of packing the place up, trying to get out of here. Um, we're hoping that tomorrow morning is when we'll get discharged, which we're in a really good spot. We're ready to be discharged. We're, we're eager to get discharged and go home and kind of continue A, learning baby life and B, uh, help mom recover. So it's just been crazy. It's been, it's been a whirlwind. Honestly, I, I feel like I expected to be more disappointed about the fact that it ended in a C-section because that's not my ideal situation for the birth but i feel like one well, and also to have that come on so suddenly yes so. yeah but i feel like when she's laying on my chest like this and even just like looking at her and holding her i'm like i don't even care how it happened like everything happened the way it needed to for her to get here so safely and she's so healthy and happy and i just I don't know. I, I'm at peace with the way that everything happened. That does not mean that the recovery has been easy by any means. Physically, it has been so difficult, but I feel like I'm at, I'm at a good point mentally where I, I'm at peace with the way things happened and just, oh, I just, I feel just so much love and gratitude and attachment to our little family of three. Yeah. Plus the dogs, I miss the dogs. <laughs> First part, your recovery, you're doing really good. Thank you know, and you are looking over the baby's best and now, you know, you can walk your way over there, look inside. I got to take some pictures of her on my own yesterday. Yeah, Sarah's so like, this is exciting. I haven't been able to walk over the best and take pictures yet. Mm -hmm. Um... You're doing good. You're recovering. You're gaining a lot of strength, so like, and confidence. You know, confidence comes with that strength. Um, two, I literally cannot talk about Tuesday without crying and like talking about it in detail. Just like instantly gets to me. So yeah. Anyways, wanted to update you. Hopefully, we get to go home tomorrow. Um, I'm excited to go through this footage. I probably won't for like yeah. another week or two, but I'm I'm really excited to sit yeah. down and look at it. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you sometime. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And Grace also says. Bye! <laughs>